Now, listen up. This is ridiculous. 99.3 The Truth. You can't handle the truth right now. Ooh. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Let's do it. Hit it. It's time for Max World. And here we go. Everybody here. Everybody here. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started. Yeah. Call Matt. 244-0077. Or text 809-0993. It's showtime, everybody! Showtime! Exclusively on 99.3, The Truth. Seven minutes after four o'clock on the 24th day of August in the Lord's year 2016. I'm J. Michael McCoy, and this is Max World. Second hour, four to five. We do the show every day, three to five. And um, I thank you for listening. I don't think um, radio people do that enough. I don't think they thank their listeners for listening. And the thing I've always said is, thanks for listening. I love my job, and I couldn't do it without you. Because uh, talking to myself is a real boring conversation. But with you at the other end, you make it interesting. Because you call in, and you text in. You tell me what you're thinking. You tell me what's important. You know, I always tell you, if there's something on this show that you don't like, I need you to tell me that. Okay, I, I, I promise I, I, I don't get offended by that stuff. I was in the restaurant business for a long time on the side. And people would tell, oh, I love your cheeseburgers, or I love this, or I love that. And I'd say, well, make sure you tell me when you don't. Because radio and restaurants, people, the customers disappear. We have no record of them. We don't know how to get a hold of you and ask you why you haven't been back or why you haven't been listening. We don't know if you stopped listening. So I need your input. You can text it to me. You can email me. You can go to the website. The truth 993com However you want to communicate with me, I'd love to hear from you. Right now, we're uh, collecting names in a jar, kind of. Um, if you want to win two tickets to see the Gaithers Vocal Band coming to Des Moines on September 16th, it's a Friday, down at the Civic Center. And all you got to do is just either call Jebediah at 244-0077, or text Bob over here at the Service Legends Truth text line at 515-809-0993. Just give your number or give your name and a number. I'm going to call the n- a winner out. What, I, what I've got is Jebediah's got 1 through 25. And Bob's got 26 through whatever. And uh, they both have sworn on a pinky swear that I'm not going to ask them who's where or somebody call in. I'm just going to pick a random number. In fact, here's what we'll do. Frank, you're going to choose odd or even. Bob, you're going to give me the first number. You hear me? You're going to get, did you hear what I just said? I'm going to give you the first number. Yeah. Frank's going to say odd or even. Mm -hmm. And then if he says, uh, well, it doesn't matter what Frank says. Your next number then would be one through 35 or whatever it is. I'm 26 through whatever. 26. And then. Based on what the odd or even, Chris, you'll pick the last number. So there's no way we can, you know, rig this. Sure. Well, and we I don't might. Think, I, don't, I don't. Radio stations don't rig contests, anyways, very often. But right. I and just, we can we can do we can do with that many. We've had enough. I, I, I'll up the ante a little bit. We've had enough text and calls uh, that we can do a pair of tickets for phone callers and a pair of tickets to the texter to keep it balanced. Oh, really? How about that? I think we can do. Don't you think we could do that? Yeah, I don't know. You're the boss. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So we're going to give away uh, one pair of tickets to the textures, right? And one pair of uh, uh, tickets to the callers. Yeah, yeah. Because wow. it's a lot of. Because we're. I don't know. You're over ten now, yeah. and I think. I mean, the phone calls have come in a little bit slower, but I think Jeb's about at ten. Okay. So I mean, that's you know, if you pick, yeah. And the phone's lit up right now. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so if we're going to give away two pair of tickets. We'll figure it out. Do we care if they both call and text? No. We'll figure it out in the break. Okay. So, here's a question I have for you. And I, I, I would, wouldn't mind your texts or your calls on this. 
when a retailer, when somebody who's trying to sell something to the public does something that, as a follower of Jesus Christ, it kind of rubs you the wrong way, do you, do you stop using them do you boycott them do you call them up and tell them do you do you do you and the couple things that i'm frank i'll give you an answer when you're ready okay let him let him talk though don't don't, don't interrupt him he does that all the time i mean i would hey i'd never interrupt mac (laughs) go ahead sir (laughs) so like when target that would be rude to interrupt (laughs) mac when he's talking (laughs) So when Target decided they were going to have the um, um, transgendered bathrooms, big, huge Target boycott went out. I don't know if it worked or not. I do know that two weeks ago, the company that owns Target, Target <laughs> announced that they were now going to have specific private restrooms. So if somebody wanted to go to the potty all by their lonesome, there would be a a, 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 a a room, not a stall, but a room. Ikea, famous out of Sweden, I think. Furniture. You said you've got Ikea furniture in your house. I sure do, yeah. Uh, they've got a commercial out on uh, Facebook, and it's kind of a mini um, home, uh, makeover. home makeover. Yeah, like an extreme makeover type thing. It's a really clever campaign because it uh, gives them the opportunity to highlight their furniture, how easy it is that you can put it together yourself, all that kind of stuff, and, and the, the storage options and how you can take a lot of stuff and, and work it in a small space. It's a great idea in terms of an ad campaign. I actually saw it today uh, in my Facebook feed as I was scrolling along. One of their sponsored Facebook uh, ads popped up, and it was this video, and so I started watching it. Mac, and I sent it to you because I was surprised uh, that here I am seeing personally that they they sent it to me, uh, or not sent it to me, but you know what I mean. Like I was targeted. I saw it from the sponsored thing. And it was a homosexual couple that were married and that they were adopting triplets, uh, or they were were adopting children, or not adopting. What's it called when you have... Well, they did the intro, or the... What's it called? In vitro fertilization. Yeah. Yeah. So my guess guess is it's one of their sperms right and then obviously a woman's eggs and it right. tripled but, but so it, they have so they have triplets so i just thought that it was it was very interesting right i mean there's a lot of families in the united states uh there are a lot of different kinds of families in the united states i just found it interesting it was it was a marketing choice that that ikea chose to highlight a homosexual couple having children in their ad it was a choice they made and, and, and the question that I had to you, Mac, is do you think our listeners are going to care about things like that? Or does that make them want to not shop at Ikea? Yeah. And see, I don't do boycotts. <laughs> sure. I, I don't. I just I don't care. I'm just I'm not interested. I can't imagine. Well, I, I guess there is. I guess there is one thing that I do. I, I get the list of the uh, local uh, donors to Planned Parenthood. Yeah, here locally, and I, I try, try, try not to do business with them because it's my money they're given to Planned Parenthood. Sure. Yeah, they're going to say, "Well, no, it, it's their money." Well, it's really God's money, and He lets me use it, and I give it to you because I think you're going to be a good steward with it, and then you turn around and support a murder factory. Frank. Okay, I do not like anything about Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, Why? Gee. That aside, she was a, uh, a spon- not a sponsor, but she was a spokesman for J.C. Penney's. Yeah. I never in my wildest imagination have ever decided I'm going to cut myself off from shopping at J.C. Penney's if I want something. So I think everybody ought to think the same way. So if it's a Christian business that stands for something, just suck it up and go purchase something at their business. I, I, I don't I don't. I don't like necessarily boycotts just on the face of it. Well, you know, what's fascinating about the, the, the video to me is it was intentional marketing choice. And, you know, uh, Frank, you talk about uh, scoreboard all the time. But you, you know that we, we sell advertising here. 
Mm -hmm. um, and we're a particular outlet. There are businesses and organizations that sometimes don't want to run advertising on our station because we're a Christian talk radio station because we have Bible teaching programs and things like that. So there are businesses that choose not to run ads, the ad of their own creation on our platform. But here you have Ikea uh, making a choice to run an ad that specifically highlights a uh, homosexual couple. That's a choice they made. They didn't have to make that. So they're intentionally making a, a point in marketing to a particular demographic. Now, I want to make something clear here. And I, I'm going to say something that somebody's probably not going to like, and you can call and tell me you don't like it. But I, me, the following comments are those of J. Michael McCoy, not those of KTIA, the Truth Network, or anybody else in this room. <clears throat> People who are gay, God made them. And I love them for who they are. And it's not my job to tell them that what they're doing is wrong. I know, Frank, you disagree with that, and that's okay. I love you. So I just want you to know, when we talk about Ikea this way, at least for me, uh, it doesn't matter to me that there's homosexuals in the ad. That doesn't bother me at all. You know, it's, it, it, sorry, are you done? Well, I just, I just want to make, and I, I'm, you know, somebody out there is going to tell me that I'm not a good enough Christian because I said that. But to be honest with you, in my walk with Jesus, I'm a Jesus freak with an attitude. In my walk with Jesus, he, he tells me just to love them. Be there, love them, love them, love them, love them. And maybe one day, maybe one day, they'll trust me enough to ask me about this Jesus guy. So that, that's just how I walk. I just, I just want that clear. And if you guys disagree, that's okay. I don't, I don't mind. You're a bigot and a racist, Frank, so you can say whatever you want. Well, as I said before, I never stop shopping at JCPenney's because of Ellen DeGeneres' views. I'm more likely to boycott somebody that I don't like, a sponsor I don't like in NASCAR. Oh, really? That is sponsoring a, 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 a make of automobile I don't particularly care for. So I'm more likely to boycott that. We've all got our priorities. I guess. They'd, ca they'd care about what somebody's sexuality plays into where they shop. All right, the Gaither Brothers, uh, the Gaither Vocal Band, are coming on September 16th. Your chance to win tickets coming up. Listen to their music here on The Truth. Jesus gave me water. Jesus gave me water. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi, my name is David Burrier, your Hope Coach. I host a live weekly talk show called I've Been There every Thursday afternoon at 5.30, right here on webcast1live.com and on my weekly radio program Saturday mornings at 10 on Truth Network 99.3 FM. I interview common everyday people who have survived incredible life challenges and who testify to God's faithfulness in the midst of their storms. So join me as we bring a message of hope and encouragement Everybody needs hope. I know, because I've been there. Hey, everybody. I brought Northern Lights pizza. And it's got Graziano sausage. <laughs> hey! 
Rockton Prevention is celebrating 25 years of creating a caring community. We want to say thank you to the tens of thousands of Rock High School mentors that have carried our message of health, love, and encouragement to over 1.5 million children, teachers, and parents. Our mentors teach children methods and skills to prevent bullying and drug use. Thank you to all the school administrators, teachers, and counselors for their opportunity to serve you. Rock on, fair citizens. Rock on. This is Pat McManus for Rock and Prevention, the Richard O. Jacobson Foundation, and this station. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. It's the Gaither Vocal Band coming to the Civic Center of Des Moines live on Friday, September 16th. If you call in now at 515-244-0077 or you text Bob at the Service Legends Truth Talk text line at 515-809-0993, just give us your name and your number. And at the uh, in about 20 minutes, we're going to pick a number because you're, you're, you have a number. Based on when you called in, you have a number, one through whatever we're at. And we're going to make this so random that I'm going to have Frank say odd or even, and then Bob's going to give the first number, and then Chris, based on the odd or even, you'll give the second number, and then we'll read that on the air, and if you can call in uh, so we can talk to you, we'll talk to you, but you don't have to do that to win the tickets. You'll get the tickets automatically. And are we going to do this every day? Sure, why not? Well, but we're gonna. We're, uh, this isn't the only day we're gonna do no, it. No, no, we're gonna do this for. The, honestly, we're gonna do it for the rest of the week. Yeah. D- did you get some tickets for Jill and Randy? What? Yeah, we got to give them tickets. Look at that. <laughs> nope, she just lost her tickets. She let her phone go off in the studio. Nope, she's out. Oh yeah, and that never happens to you. No, it never happens yeah. to me. All right, five one five two four four double o double seven. We're talking about whether you boycott or don't do business with somebody. Because a policy or an advertisement of theirs um, goes against your uh, walking with Jesus walk. Uh, The ones we talked about, uh, Frank talked about, you know, that he's a Ford guy. And if uh, one of the drivers is driving a Chevy, then he doesn't like that driver just because he's driving a Chevy. So he boycotts Chevy. Well, I boycott sponsors that sponsor certain drivers that I don't particularly like, who I think are dirty drivers. For example, I was not a fan of Dale Earnhardt Sr. Oh! Very dirty driver. No, he wasn't. (laughs) And Ikea has a, a, it's really a cool ad out on Facebook. um, And it's kind of a makeover show. And there are two men who are married who are getting ready to adopt a child. Uh, We talk about Target, Target. And their uh, uh, transgendered bathroom policy that they came out with a little bit ago. I have one. I'll be honest with you. I have one. Uh, I like to do business with people and not places. So I'm much like more likely to go to a locally owned business than I am a franchise or a chain. On the other hand, I have a young lady by the name of Penny who takes care of my glasses. Has for 20 years. If Penny were to leave Vogue Vision and go over to, I don't know, name another eye place, I'd probably follow Penny wherever she goes. So mine is this. Every year I get a copy of the local donations that are made to Planned Parenthood of Iowa. And I, if I do business with one of those folks, I'll go to them and say, Bob, what are you doing taking the money that I give you, my hard-earned money, and you take my money and you turn around and give it to Planned Parenthood. I don't like that. Why do you do that? But that's the only one I've got. I don't think, I don't think anybody could ever motivate me to boycott or, or not go someplace for any other reason. I'm just, you know how I feel about, you know, life. And remember why I did that. It's not because I follow Jesus. It's because I was an orphan. And when I was 18, through a DNA check... I found my biological mother because she was a federal employee. And I love this woman. I talk to her almost every day. She's a retired Superior Court Justice. And that's why her DNA was in the system in 1975, because they had DNA'd all the federal employees. I asked her, Mom, 
if I was conceived in 73 rather than 58, would you have aborted me? And the answer was yes. And I don't blame her for that. I don't at all. It's just the decision she would have made. That's why I'm so pro-life. That's why I'm against abortion. All right, let's go to the phones where James is standing by. James, you're live in Max World. How you doing today? Hey, Mac, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for letting me pontificate there for a minute and keeping you on hold. But what, what are you thinking about this? Are there th- places you don't go or businesses you won't do business with based on decisions they make that maybe rub sandpaper up against your walk with Jesus? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say places I would, I would refuse to go. I mean, just, let's just go through, you know, that target situation. Yeah, when they made that decision, that was kind of weird, and it's kind of, you know, I don't have children, so if I had children, I might look at it a little differently, uh, taking my young children into the bathrooms there. But I'm not going to refuse to go to Target. Um, You know, if I'm near a Target and I need something that I know Target sells, I'm going to go to Target and buy that thing. Um, You know, talking about Ikea, too. um, I mean, it's not like, you know, gay couples don't need furniture as well. I mean, I'm not clueless, and I hope the rest of the listeners aren't, aren't either. I hope they understand that there are, you know, homosexual people in the world, and there are homosexual people who are married in the world, and just like a heterosexual married couple, they need a couch to sit on and a coffee table and, you know, a bookshelf and, what, you know, all these different things. And, I mean, I understand what Ikea is trying to do. They're trying to be progressive, and they're trying to push the envelope. And, I mean, I, I get that. Um, but, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm not going to ever want to go look around and see if I want to go buy some of their furniture. Yeah, now, Chris, you've got Ikea furniture, you and your bride. I do, I do. Does and this change your mind? No, it, no, it doesn't for me. I just, I saw the ad and I just wondered if, and maybe that the days of people boycotting businesses for those reasons have died down. But, uh, uh, but it, that it just struck me as fascinating that they took this uh, strong effort. I, I actually procrastinated. You know, I like to procrastinate about. It's things. your favorite hobby. It's my favorite hobby. That and board games, really. <laughs> um, if you know, if they could make a board game about procrastination, well, they'll never get around. There to you go. That. Why don't you invent it and just call it procrastination? <laughs> It'll never get made. Uh, there's a joke there. Um, but I- interestingly <laughs> enough, Subaru, um, James, and I think James sort of alluded to this too, that IKEA is intentionally targeting people that buy their products. You know, so there are homosexual couples, obviously, throughout the United States. There are married homosexual couples in, in the state of Iowa. You know, uh, it's legal in the state of Iowa for homosexuals to get married here. So there's uh, that's going on. But Subaru, back in the 90s, changed their entire marketing plan and geared it towards lesbians back in the 90s to sell more no, Subarus. No, they didn't. I'm dead serious. I, I never wrote this. I never read the, wrote the article about it. But it's, it's common knowledge, and I can share it with you here. They, they discovered that their no, car... Deep. I'm not I'm not joking. I'm not joking. This was back in the 90s. They did it much more subtly then uh, than, they, than they do things like that now. But they did it because the, the report actually says that, they, that lesbians were four times more likely than the average consumer to buy a Subaru. That was from research. So they actually started tailoring their ads to reach lesbians uh, with their vehicles. I think that's brilliant. Well, it's very smart from a marketing perspective. Well, so who wouldn't do that? Right. It's a it's a good business strategy. Yeah. All right, Frank. Um, I lost my train of thought. Go ahead, James. So, uh, any more thoughts on this? I want to get your last words. No, I, I basically thought I wanted to say. I mean, yeah, I agree. I agree, I agree with you and and Chris about you know about the whole thing. I mean, kudos to companies for paying attention and and making money yeah. the way they can. But I also agree with you too. That's that's smart. I never thought about that way. Getting a list of the companies who contribute to Planned Parenthood. Because there's something I would boycott, I and mean, that's just straight up murder. Um, there, there's something I would boycott. So that's that's good, Max. All right, buddy, James. I appreciate you listening. Thanks. Thank you very much, James. Hey, hold on. Did you get your name and number to Jebediah so you're in the drawing for the tickets? Oh, he said you did. Uh- yeah, I did. I All right, did. James. Thank you very much, Frank. Well, you what, do remember now? Yes. What you is, sure? Yes. Okay. What go, is, ahead. What go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't try to make Frank. me forget. Don't, I don't wrote it down. I just wish that this tolerance was across the board for the Christian businesses who step out and say they have certain things that go against their Christian principles. And as I have not uh, refrained from shopping at J.C. Penney's just because of Ellen DeGeneres, I wish people would not boycott certain pizza businesses or certain cake businesses or yeah. something because 
we're, we're, we're just cutting off half of our customers when we make these stands, and potentially that's not good for our economy. It's not good for our businesses. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, I don't remember what the flap was, but um, it, the, the chicken place, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. What was the flap? There was some big flap there. Uh, Kathy, the, the um, Mr. Kathy, the, the owner, the head. For marriage. Yeah. He was for marriage. He support. He gave money to pro-marriage okay. uh, organizations, and people got upset about that. Okay. Well, I listen. I got a secret for the listeners. Hey, shh, come here. Get closer to the radio. Chick-fil-A doubled in sales in 24 months. They have more franchises going up than any other fast food restaurant in the country. So sometimes the other side will come in and support that business even more rather than just the boycott. So remember, it goes both ways. I can tell you right now, and again, I don't care about the marriage thing, but if all of a sudden Chick-fil-A or whoever decided they were absolutely pro-life and they would not support anything or anyone and they ran commercials that says what I think Planned Parenthood should say. Now, young lady, I know you have an unplanned pregnancy and it's, it's terrible, but do you know that that's a, a human being and you're asking us to kill it? They don't say that. Oh, no, it's just a zygote or whatever they say. Anyway, zygote. I don't want to get into that topic, but... I can tell you that if that happened, I'd buy uh, Chick-fil-A sandwiches until I turned into a chicken. Well, well, Mac, you also have to consider that they have good food, too. I mean, that's, you know, yeah. you do have good food. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. Just so you know, in the next couple of weeks, we might randomly get a visit. From, from the, the new, chicken? From the, the cow? No, not from the chicken, but from the franchisee owner of the, the, the new Chick-fil-A coming outside here in our uh, parking lot. He's got an open invitation. I invited him to just come stop by sometime. So we might get a surprise Kay. from Chick-fil-A. Make sure he brings that. What's that sauce that you got me? It's, it's the Chick-fil-A special sauce? It is. Yeah, make sure he brings. You like that stuff? See, I told, I told him, I said, my favorite thing to do is put the Chick-fil-A mayonnaise on their waffle fries. The only, the only I don't put mayonnaise on French fries anywhere Except for when I go to Chick Fil A, have you ever thought maybe weird. that's why you're a little north of 200? <laughs> I'm a very, I'm a very thin man. It's a radio; no one can see me. Oh no, that's right. All right, we have two Gaither uh, vocal band tickets that we're going to give away here in oh, I don't know, about 12, 14 minutes, and all you have to do is call Jebediah at two four four double o double seven or. Uh, text Bob at the Service Legends Truth text line at 515-809-0993, and we're going to give away one pair to Jebediah's callers and one pair to the texters. Yes. And I said only register once, but if you called and you'd like to text, that's okay. I will tell you if we draw your name twice, you don't get four tickets. The other two are going to go to Jill and Randy because Smarty Pants over here didn't set any aside for them. So that's how that's going to roll. All right. Um, remember, uh, just so you're listening, uh, Spencer Karoff is going to be our guest tomorrow. And here's, oh, he is. Yeah. Here's the question I posed for him. Okay. This, you yeah. know how I get on these theological questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't Satan repent? Interesting. I mean, think about it. He knows how it ends. He knows he's screwed and tattooed at the end of this show or at the end of the life. So why why doesn't he why doesn't he figure out that he's really made dad awful mad and go and repent? The whole world would change. Why why do we sit here and we pray for this and this and this? Why don't we just pray for the accuser to have a repentant heart and go to Papa and say, I'm really sorry I've been screwing this up since Adam and Eve? Mac, there are times that I'm thankful that I don't live inside your brain, and this is one of them. But I, I would look forward to that conversation uh, tomorrow. That's going to be really fascinating. I thought you were going to mention that Pastor Spencer Karoff is going to give his testimony at Testify in September. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's first, the first Wednesday. First Wednesday of the month at Pizza Ranch in Urbandale. Yeah, he's going to give his testimony. So. All right, you're going to hear some more Gaither music. We're coming back in three minutes with your calls. 515-244-0077. Do you boycott? businesses that do things that don't agree with your walk with Jesus or do you support businesses that do 244-0077 is your voice I want to hear on the truth she met a stranger who did a story tell 
Bites Pizza's amazing garlic butter makes amazing breadsticks. Now available in 12-ounce bottles at Northern Lights, Hy-Vee, and Graziano's. I'm Brian Leach, owner of Service Legends, and my position is Chief Talent Officer. I'm Nicholas Wondershad. I am Bernie Hobbs. And I'm the Service Manager. Marketing Director and Client Relations Manager. Everything that we do is about ensuring that we exceed your expectations. Our clients are important to us, 100% satisfaction. We're not just focused on heating and cooling. That's the easiest part of our job, actually, is fixing furnaces and air conditioners. Everyone that we come in touch with, we want to improve lives. Bottom line is, we've got our installation guarantees, 25% energy savings guarantee, comfort guarantee, temperature selection guarantee, property protection guarantee. 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fixed rate or it's free. All of those guarantees are backed up with a 100% money back guarantee to hold ourselves accountable to making sure that you get what you're after. Just fix them the problem today. If they have another problem five days down the road, it's still a fixed rate or it's free. We use what's called straightforward pricing. Our technicians are gonna give you an exact to the penny price on what it's gonna take before they move forward with any repair. That way you know what to expect. It's the same price every day. No surprises. If you get off work at five o'clock in the afternoon, you come home, you realize that, oh, my furnace is broken. Now you need to call somebody out that night. You shouldn't have to pay more for that. We're guaranteeing service 24-7. We run afternoons, evenings, nights, weekends. We're staffed to work that. Phone rings at 3 in the morning. You'll get one of our representatives answering the phone every time. We're not sending you out to Timbuktu in some call center. It's our service legend team members, our mission control team. I'll take a call anytime. And then they answer the phones the same way during the day as they do at night. It's a great day at your service company. How can we make you smile? That's the only way to provide true 24-hour service. When you're able to let somebody actually live in their home safely when they weren't able to do that before, where they don't have to stay up at night and worry about, is the heat going to come back on? Are we going to freeze the pipes? Is the baby in the room next door going to be sick because they got too cold? When you're able to help somebody overcome challenges like that, that's impacting a life. That makes a difference. I get goosebumps thinking about it. I love the team. I love the people that I work with. <laughs> we have fun, but we work hard. I call them my ambassadors of legendary service. If you could just envision what that is, that's who we're sending to your home. They literally will call in, pick up the phone and call and say, hey, I want to talk to your manager. And I get on the phone, they're like, that technician that was at my house was the greatest technician ever. That's cool to me. We want to brighten people's days. Every person that we have going into the house has gone through an extensive background check. Drug testing, we have a very thorough interview process that one out of 140 people make it through. If we promise you something, that's what you're going to get, no matter what. We're here when you need us to protect the safety and comfort of your family. If you're not happy, we're gonna make it right. If we're willing to put 100% money back guarantee on what we do, what type of work do you think we do? Give us a call. We're there for you 24-7, 365 days a year. Enough said. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. All right, 438. That's the Gaithers. They're going to be on stage at the Des Moines Civic Center here in a couple weeks. Actually, I guess it's three weeks from this Friday, September 16th. And uh, we're going to give you a pair of tickets. And you can call in and give Jebediah your name and number. Or you can text Bob at the Service Legends Truth text line at 515-809-0993. And in exactly nine minutes, we're going to read off two names. Now, you don't have to call to win the tickets. You've already won the tickets, and we'll call you and notify you that you've won the tickets. You will have to come to the station to pick them up, or are you going to mail it to them? No, don't, don't mail tickets. All right, so you've got a true random number generator uh, app. Okay. All right, so let's go. Oh, here's Spencer. Spencer's on the phone. Spencer, you're live in Maxworld. Is this, is this the Spencer? It is. It is. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, did you hear me talk about you? Uh, well, I did, but that's not why I was calling. Oh, okay. So, uh, so just, a, just a quick comment and just some food for thought. You, you made the comment that the reason that you're pro-life is because of your past experience, that that is um, what has driven you to that position. Um, we have to be very careful that truth is not based just on experience. Uh, that, that we have a reason beyond just our experience for why we believe what we believe. And otherwise, uh, somebody out there who doesn't have the experience that you do uh, couldn't have the excuse and say, well, I'm not pro-life because I haven't had that experience. 
Um, we have to have objective truth uh, to base our subjective experiences on. And so I just I just want you to uh, kind of think through that a little bit and try and figure that out of of um, what that looks like for absolute objective truth, uh, and uh, and then running our subjective experiences to that. All right, uh, Spencer, uh, I appreciate you calling in, and uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow here on the radio. Man, I'm looking forward to it. All right, see you guys. All right, bye bye. The pastor calls on my radio show and calls me out. Doesn't work. Yeah, oh, there it, does. it is. Okay. Can you believe that? Yeah. I got a pastor to call me out. That's awesome. He's right. That's. A- I know he's right. <laughs> I know he's right. He's the pastor. He's always... No, that's not true. Pastors aren't always right. All right, uh, let's go to Eric. Eric, you're live in Max World. How you doing? Hey, good. Hey, listen, a uh, good example of that advertising is, say, Hardee's. Every time we see a Hardee's commercial with sexual exploitation of women, um, you know, if, if there's a choice between two restaurants, we'll go to the other restaurant. Wow. You know, so... Wow. So you, you look at things like that... Um, we run a small outfitter business, and if, you know, you've got the choice between two outfitters, you've got a family-run Christian business or one that, you know, would promote, you know, you've got a choice. It's a competition in in the market. So that's that's kind of the way we look at that, Mac. I like that. So, yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, and when I was eating fast food, I don't eat it anymore, but when I was eating fast food, Hardee's was always my choice. And so I didn't even think about that because they really do. They you know who who was the who who was the girl lo- long ago? She played Daisy Duke in the movie, and they used her with that. Oh. I can't. Yeah. Rem- huh. I can't remember her name. I anyway, that's all right. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Eric, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, thanks yeah, for definitely. listening. Yep. Yep. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Five one five two four four. Jessica Simpson. There you go. Five one five two four four double o double seven. That's the number you can call, and if you'd like to get on the air, the, the topic is real easy. When you well, and Eric, Eric just brought up a whole new deal. Here, here's a hamburger company, which, by the way, makes really good hamburgers. <laughs> well, they do. Their mushroom and Swiss burger just rocks. <laughs> I can't eat them anymore. But um, he doesn't. If, if he's if he's got a Burger King, a Hardee's, or, or a McDonald's, or a Chick Fil A to choose from, he won't go to Hardee's because they use that sexually um, promiscuous type of advertising. Right. And I never. I mean, I see it. And his point, though, wasn't just because it was sexual, but because it was degrading to women. Yes. that's. I mean, that's. if I understood Eric correctly, that's what he was yeah. He was upset about. All right, 515-244-0077. Kathy, you are live in Max World. How you doing? Oh, pretty good, Max. How about you? Good. Thank you very much for uh, calling. I, I, I want to get your perspective on this. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a certain store that has, like, a bullseye-type logo. I was not naming any names. Right. But when they talked about making bathrooms unsafe for my 15-year-old daughter, I won't step foot in there again. Really? I mean, they just care more about, some businesses care more about being politically correct or just going with the most liberal thing they can so they seem enlightened. And they're not thinking at all about the safety of other people or just being a reasonable human being. Yeah. Well, uh, Kathy, I appreciate you calling in and telling us that. I mean, that that's the question. There there we've got, and I'll say it, it's Target. We've been talking about it anyway. Um, Kathy chooses not to go back to Target because she believes that uh, their policy on transgendered bathrooms uh, makes it very unsafe for children. Um, and, you know, Kathy's a mom. I know that. And that's important to her. And I, I like what Spencer said, even, even though I, I feel I feel like the the nun. You know, I went to a Catholic school when I was in grade school, and the nun literally would hit your hand with a a, a, a ruler. I feel like Spencer just hit me on the hand with a ruler. Well, but his point was more that we just be careful that we use some sort of an objective truth, like the scripture or something like that, to to, to make our decisions right. rather than just experiences. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, because if you don't like me and you don't like to listen to me on the radio, you're probably pro-abortion, right? No, I'm kidding. I I don't care for Target's policy at all, 
and uh, that's not going to stop me necessarily. I don't shop that much at Target. I prefer Walmart over Target. I, <laughs> I, I like Walmart because they've not bow, yielded, and kneeled and succumbed to the environmental uh, green issues in the world, and, and they're not been unionized. And there's so a lot you, of you do pay it. Listen to you. Well, you pay attention to the political stuff. I pay attention to it, but I'm not. I'm, I'm saying I'm not going to refuse to shop at Target based on that alone. Okay. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I, I don't either. All right, 515-244-0077. That's where you can call and get registered for the Gaither Vocal Band tickets. Jeb and I will answer the phone, or you can call and join in the conversation at 515-244-0077, or you can text at the Service Legends Truth text line with Bob, and that's 515-809-0993. And we're coming up on a break, so in the break we'll actually select the winner, and then right when we come back we'll announce them. Oh, we're we're going to do it afterwards? Well, well, we'll do the random selection off oh, air. Oh, because you've got that app. I'm going to do the app. We'll do the random selection off air. I don't like that. I want to do it on the I thing? I want to do it as as transparent as we can. Well, there you go. I've been in Just radio. Just like the Obama administration, as transparent <laughs> as possible. <laughs> I've been in radio long enough that I know there are people out there that, that – wonder they they wonder if if contests like this are rigged we, we and, use a really fancy app yeah <laughs> and pins and paper it's I, super high tech i thought right. this was truth huh? we are the truth yeah, yeah there's no well, then why would people doubt yeah don't doubt us they listen to frank if you listen to frank you doubt don't, don't doubt don't frank. expect don't. a miracle yeah there you go <laughs> there you go all right so let's let's do it now we've got a minute and a half so jebediah how many uh names do you have down on your sheet of paper i have seven you have oh, seven. Okay. All right. So give a random uh, number, one to seven. Who's going to do the drum roll? Uh, Ding. The winner is number three. Jeb, who is the winner? Number three is Douglas Roofer. Douglas Roofer. All right, Douglas, if you're listening, call us at 244-0077. Now give us a uh, number. How many do you have, Bob? Oh, I got about 15. Well, are you going to pick my, my odd even thing? No, we're, no, gonna we're going to do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. See, you weren't listening. Yeah, 15. 15. 15. Okay, All right, so, so 1 to 15. 15. Here we go. Ding. And the winner is number 12. Who's number 12? Bob's counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Jeb if had you it started nice. at 25, <laughs> go ahead. Who is it? Okay. It's Laura Kelly. Laura, right. Kelly. Laura Kelly, uh, you and Doug call, and when we come back from this break and a little music from the Gaithers band, we'll get you on the radio. But even if you don't call, you've got the tickets today, uh, courtesy of all of us here at 99.3 The Truth. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Rockton Prevention is celebrating 25 years of creating a caring community. We want to say thank you to the tens of thousands of Rock High School mentors that have carried our message of health, love, and encouragement to over 1.5 million children, teachers, and parents. Our mentors teach children methods and skills to prevent bullying and drug use. Thank you to all the school administrators, teachers, and counselors for the opportunity to serve you. Rock on, fair citizens. Rock on. This is Pat McManus for Rock and Prevention, the Richard O. Jacobson Foundation, and this station. Northern Lights Pizza, your home of the tasty crust. Our garlic butter sauce now available in 12-ounce bottles at Northern Lights, Hy-Vee, and Graziano. Northern Lights Pizza. Hi, my name is David Burrier, your Hope Coach. I host a live weekly talk show called I've Been There every Thursday afternoon at 5.30, right here on webcast1live.com and on my weekly radio program Saturday mornings at 10 on Truth Network 99.3 FM. I interview common, everyday people who have survived incredible life challenges and who testify to God's faithfulness in the midst of their storms. So join me as we bring a message of hope and encouragement. 
Everybody needs hope. I know, because I've been there. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Salem Radio Network News, and then Hank the Bible Answer Man, a live worldwide program, one hour. Hank will answer any biblical question that you have. Biblical, sorry. Biblical question that you have. 1-888-ASK-HANK. And get ready, because this guy knows his stuff. Even Frank's tried to stump him. (laughs) You know, you could take his job. You're Ask that, Frank. You're that good. Yeah, we could maybe maybe we should just do the show from five to six called Ask Frank rather than Ask Hank. Good suggestion. Now pass that by roll off. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I don't think so. All right. Uh five one five two four four double oh double seven. That's the number you can call in. We've got two winners, and uh Chris is trying to get a hold of them so we can get them on the radio. But if not, uh what was your na- uh, winner's name? Laura Kelly. Laura Kelly. And what was your winner's name, Jebediah? Doug? Uh, Douglas Roofer. All right. So you guys have the tickets. And we'll have them here at the radio station. And you can pick them up from 9 to whatever, 4, 5, whatever. Come up while the show's on. You come into the studio and sit down and say hi. Um, But you've got two tickets. Or as I used to say in secular radio, you just ripped me off for two tickets to see the Gaithers. (laughs) Anyway, you didn't. You want them fair and square, and we're going to give some away later. Can you do that voice some more? Oh, did I do that <laughs> voice again? That's my weather voice. All right. Um, so um, here's the conversation today, and we do have some time to take a couple more calls. We're about out of time. But do you change your buying habits because a, a company – is either uh, pro something that you uh, uh, support. And I'm basically talking about with your walk with Jesus. Frank talks about NASCAR. I don't know. How how do you even, (laughs) what do you care if a company sponsors a guy that you don't like the driver? I mean, seriously, is that how NASCAR works? That's how, that's how radical, faithful NASCAR fans are. Okay. And you, Dale Earnhardt Sr., you didn't like him. He was too dirty for my taste. He ran over people. The pit manu- the Pittman maneuver that the police went to school on, how to get yeah. somebody in their quarter panel and spin them around. They all learned that from Dale Earnhardt. Well, that's racing, though. <laughs> all right. Anyway, um, or do you specifically do business with someone because of their faith? I, I can tell you. I, I, and I'm not really a crafts guy, but I do go to Hobby Lobby from time to time because I like some of the stuff they have. I know Michael's has the same stuff. To be honest with you, Michael's is closer to where I live. But I don't go to Michael's. I go to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is a Christian-owned business. You can tell when you walk in by the employees. Uh, I'm serious. You can. They're not open on Sunday, which is a pain in the butt to me. But... Some people feel that Christian-owned businesses can represent themselves that way in the marketplace if they're not open on Sunday. Big Al's Barbecue, good buddy of mine over on the east side, he's not open on Sunday. That's a huge day for restaurants. Huge day. He gives his employees that day to take the Sabbath off and do what they want to do. You know, Mac. He's on the phone. His mic. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, Mac, it comes down, I think, to understanding who your audience is whenever you're a business. It's it's about it's about marketing. Just like I mentioned in the 90s, Subaru targeting lesbians because they were more likely to buy their product. You know, business owners need to, and I talk about this on the radio at other times, business owners need to be smart and market to the people that are more likely to buy their customer or buy their product or service, whatever yeah. that is. When it comes to food, everybody eats. 
Uh, so at that point, it's just a matter of, you know, you're, you're a company. You have the right to, to do what you want with your profits. Yeah, because um, Eric said he, he doesn't go to Hardee's because of their sexual innuendo. Right, and, and we should have that. We should have the freedom to refuse, not, not to refuse service. We should have the freedom to, uh, to not go to a business if we don't want to. But I you think. know, we don't. We, we were talking earlier with a guest about the Gertz house. And though, those people did not have the choice to say no to business that they didn't want to do business with a certain person or a certain people, certain lifestyle, and they lost their business. Right, but that was they bullying. They lost it. You know, you know good and well that that was a bully effort on, on the part of, yeah. of the homosexual couple, primarily because the Gortz House served homosexual people, they employed homosexual people, and simply because they wouldn't hold a wedding there, they threw a fit and fined them. That's bullying. And that couple was already legally married in Polk right, County. Right, that's a com- that's, that, that, is, that is bullying. Chris, that is uh, out of line. Excuse the pun, but they were targeted. Targeted. They were, they were targeted. All right, yeah. last call for the day. Daniel, you're live in Max World. So what do you say on this? Yes, uh, there's a um, uh, petition against Target because of their transgender bathroom. So I don't uh, shop at Target anymore. Are there businesses that you do go to, Daniel, because of their walk with Jesus? Absolutely. Chick-fil-A is one and many others. Okay. Good. Good. All right, Daniel, thank you very much. I appreciate thank you calling. You. Okay. Bye. I think that was the guy that did uh, the testify last time. Wasn't his name Daniel? I think that was him. All right, we are about out of time today. Uh, remember tomorrow, uh, Spencer Karoff uh, from First Church of the Open Bible going to be on here. And answer the most crazy, harebrained theological question. You think question. that's a stupid question? <laughs> I think it's a very hard-to-answer question. But Spencer is the kind of guy who is not afraid to wade into the difficult and wacky mind of Mac. Yeah, so I'm just... <laughs> wild and wacky <laughs> mind of Mac. I just, I just thought the other day, why doesn't the accuser repent why doesn't he go to papa and say man have i made a mess of this for you i know what your plan was and i got in there and and messed with people's free will with thank you for giving that to them papa that's the kind of god you are you're an awesome god but i want to repent me and the other third of the angels we want to come home we want to end this rather than the way it says in revelation where I'm cast into a, 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 a fiery pit of hell for eternity, I want to repent. You are my creator. I'm sorry. I repent, and I want to be back in your camp. Why can't the accuser do that? Frank, I want you to look biblically if there's a reason why that can't be, okay? The, this right. is your area of expertise, and I've already told Spencer that's what we're going to talk about, so I know he'll come prepared. Luke Tim already gave me an answer, and he, I, I don't, I mean, I love Luke Tim, but I don't, it's not the final answer as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I've got one, but I'll save it for tomorrow. Okay. It has something it. to do with Cheerios, but it's really complicated. <laughs> Cheerios? Yeah, it's, it's. <laughs> with, did, with Honey Nuts or not? No, Honey Nut Cheerios all the way. All did the you way. buy them at Target? Uh, <laughs> 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 all right, um, I'm going to ask you to do, uh, at the end of the show, what I ask you to do every day at this time. And maybe today you'll hear it a little differently. You're walking around with a resentment against somebody. It might be a week old. It might be a lifetime ago. But you carry that. And I don't know if you realize this, but it hurts you. It doesn't hurt them at all. So would you do what God asks you to do? Would you please forgive them? Because how you're forgiven by Papa is going to depend on how you forgive others. Okay? I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.